I'm Lucy Fink, and this week is Five Days of Self-Love. Hey guys, it's me, Lucy. A little while back, my video team surprised me on set with Drew Barrymore. Check it out. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh my god, what is happening? Uh, the makeup artist couldn't come, so I came instead. She was one of the sweetest, most free-spirited, most self-confident people I had ever met in my entire life. And a few days after I met her, I stumbled upon this quote of hers. I think happiness is what makes you pretty, period. Happy people are beautiful. They become like a mirror, and they reflect that happiness. Self-love. It's not always an easy thing to understand or to achieve. Real, genuine self-love grows and accumulates over time when we actively take care of and appreciate ourselves and do things to help us grow mentally, physically, and spiritually. Each day this week, I'm gonna do something different to help bolster and build that self-love. Day one. One of the most important ingredients to self-love is self-esteem. Although it's a little awkward at first, Standing in front of the mirror and reciting affirmations is a great way to help build and grow that self-esteem. I accept myself and love myself. I radiate love and respect. My mind is full of gratitude for my lovely and wonderful life. I'm doing two other things today that are so closely tied to self-love. Journaling and meditating. I journaled before and after work, making a list of things that I'm grateful for in my life. And then I sat right here on my bed after work, meditated for 20 minutes, and got some much needed Lucy time just thinking and breathing. Today is all about practicing self-love by appreciating and taking good care of your body. And I think one of the best ways to do that is to learn about nutrition because knowledge is power. Christy Harrison is the nutritionist that I've been in touch with for previous episodes of Try Living with Lucy, from five days on a juice cleanse to five days of paleo. She's always given her input and she's great. She came over to my apartment today and taught me her approach to having a peaceful relationship with food. Intuitive eating. We're all born as intuitive eaters. It's a very self-loving sort of practice. It's, you know, tuning into your body, your hunger and fullness cues, your desires for specific foods, your satisfaction, um, and using those to guide your food choices. I'm thinking about what sounds good to me and not cutting out gluten or dairy or sweets or any of the things that are sort of trendy to cut out right now. With this diet culture, there's just, you don't know who to listen to right. or what's right. So I feel like the best thing I can do is just listen to myself. Yeah. So if I'm gonna be intuitively eating for the rest of this week, you wouldn't actually tell me what to do. You would just say, do what your body tells you. Yeah. So just open the fridge, <laughs> see what you've got. <laughs> right, see what you've got. Honoring your hunger and your fullness and also what your body tells you. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> so after speaking to her, I ate intuitively all day. Today took me back in time to a place before the media told me what I should be eating and how I should be feeling after I ate certain things. Who knows more than my body when I'm hungry or when I'm full? Nobody. Even the people who tell you, I have no regrets, have regrets. Step three to garnering self-love is learning how to forgive yourself. I know there are a ton of ways to clear your mind and eradicate those feelings of regret, but today I tried something new and fun. A write and burn. I listed out my top five regrets on small pieces of paper. They're personal, so I'm not gonna share them aloud. Folded them up, lit them on fire, and watched them burn away. It was beautiful. Of course, I know that this is not actually gonna burn up and get rid of those thoughts forever, but this is definitely a great method to help you ease some of that anxiety and let go of some of that burden. I've heard that waking up and setting a clear intention or purpose for the day is one of the keys to learning how to accept and love yourself. So this morning I woke up and wrote down three intentions. Number one, be patient with yourself and others. One of my biggest pet peeves, slow walkers in New York City. Normally when I'm stuck behind them, this is how I feel. Sir? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir! But in situations like that today, I just took a deep breath smiled, breathed, and let it go. Like this. Excuse me, sir. And that feels really great. Number two, don't say anything negative about yourself. 
I think one of the times that we all do that is when we get a compliment and we deflect it. It's almost like the moment someone says something nice to us, we need to shut it down or else it gets really awkward. So instead of doing something like this. I love that sweater. Oh, this? No, I think it's like too shiny, right? Rewind. Do it like this. I love that sweater. Thank you. Number three, have fun. When was having fun the most fun? When we were kids. So to have fun, I went to my cameraman's apartment and spent the whole afternoon playing Nintendo 64. I used to play these games every single day after school. So it really brought me back. I felt happy and carefree. Oh my god. And you really feel a lot more love for yourself when you're smiling, laughing, and not taking yourself too seriously. First place after years of playing that game. Happy Friday! The last step to practicing self-love for me is, drum roll please, I love my job so much. Treat yourself. I started today by writing a list of some of the things I love most in this world, and then I proceeded to do each and every one of them. Here was my list. Eat a huge bowl of fruity pebbles, read two chapters of a good book, take a hot bath, watch Modern Family, video chat with my twin sister, buy myself pizza, connect with the Instagram art community, eat cookies, and do karaoke in the living room. Those are some of the things that I love doing. And by actively allowing myself to enjoy and indulge in some of the things I love, I was in turn loving myself. Now I wanna know how you practice self-love, so comment below letting me know what would be on your list, and as always, let me know what you wanna see me try next time on Try Living with Lucy. And if you want to send me pizza, just look up the Refinery29 address and just mail it over. Thanks. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Click here to watch another video on our channel and here to subscribe to Refinery29 on YouTube.